folks um so i literally just walked into my pl the first place that i'm staying in um in kuala lumpur and literally just had to run and get my camera because i'm so excited first of all let's look at this view how cool yeah definitely a step up from a hostel view wise and then let's do a tour. This is a live the living room. Um, I don't know where the light is yet. Oh, there's a balcony. Oh, there's not a balcony. <laughs> so this is the living room. Um, let's just go this way. So I'm still figuring out this out. This door slides, but be careful. Um, into the bedroom doing a bed bug check I'm gonna finish that later um, really nice and has the big windows over there too um, this is the closet where are the lights it's so complicated oh there we go okay so here's the bathroom nice shower sink everything all the waiting this nice big mirror and then you come back into the living room slash kitchen, microwave, fridge. Um, you know what that is. <laughs> and then there's just like a, it's not really a mirror, but like you still see yourself. If you could turn on the light right here. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm so sweaty. Like I just hopped off of the plane and got here. It took an hour to get here from the airport. So it takes a while, but I'm just like so in love with this place already. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay guys, I am in love with this hotel slash Airbnb. Like I'm really thinking about extending my stay. Look at this view. Like take a look at it please. My goodness. I'm trying not to be loud because they, they look he fancy in here. But I think I'm going to extend my stay. Like, I don't want to leave this place. I mean, it's it was 130 for two nights. I'm going to really want to get back to my room and see if I can stay longer. <laughs> I love it. my first meal in 24 hours like over 24 hours actually spilling I almost slipped that wouldn't have been good <laughs>
so guys i am on my second day in kuala lumpur and i absolutely love it here like i knew the landscape of the city was gorgeous like i already knew that from just like pictures and research that i did but it's just like um it's just so gorgeous it's like wow i'm finally here yeah so today i ha i was supposed to like just chill like enjoy this really nice room um that i showed you guys earlier and you know chill by the pool maybe go work out eat a lot of food um that's what my plan was today so i yeah i'm going to um i wanted to try to go to this um food place but i ran out of malaysian i don't know are there ringettes yeah so i don't have any like actual cash right now so I don't want to leave and then not have a way to well I have to figure it out anyway because I have to go on a tour tomorrow so I have to figure out how to get some more money I should have just exchanged it all at the airport but I saw that exchange right now I was like ill um <laughs> so I yeah I gotta figure it all out but yeah just let's take one not last because I feel like I'm not done showing you guys this amazing view but i wanted to show you guys another like another view of my room because it's just so amazing that angle was not good <laughs> isn't it just so gorgeous yeah i'm gonna go eat now and take some pictures <laughs> I thought I'd take this time to, while my roommates are not here yet, show you guys my hostel for my last two days in Kuala Lumpur. So I only had the suite for two nights. And even though I tried to get it for the rest of my time, she um, was like someone booked it for one night. So I wasn't able to get it for, I could have had it for tomorrow night, but not tonight. So I was like, whatever, just stay at the hostel that you booked months ago um so here are the beds there are only four i only i try to only stay in four um or less this is my locker with all my stuff i love the big lockers like i'm obsessed and in here we have a sink um this is one of the first not first but like i've lately been staying in rooms that have bathrooms in them so this is the first on this trip even though it's my third hostel it's the first on this trip that i don't have a bathroom in the room so that's gonna suck um but it's two nights and then i head on i have my own accommodations for the next seven days after i leave here so you can't really and i just had my own suite for two days so you can't be too mad you know um yeah i just Okay guys, I'm at my first stop on my tour. This is the King's Temple. But yeah, so I gotta put my selfie stick together so I don't have to ask too many people to help me out. But here it is. Let's see if we can get up closer. Never mind. It's beautiful. Look at the fish it's on the ground. Oh my god. Oh, 
these pigeons. Ugh. Oh hell no. Y'all, do y'all see the monkeys? You probably can't. So beautiful. Can't believe it. Oh no. Yes, okay. Hold on. Excuse me, ma'am. I didn't want to meet you. Okay. Yeah, I am legit, like, just dying out here. It is so hot. Um, I just climbed up all them stairs and I I need a break, I need a rest, but I still have one more stop on this tour. through the footage so you may or may not probably not see um but i had so many people come up to me for a picture today at the batu caves um i <laughs> it's happened before it, like it happens in america so it's not like i'm not used to it but today it was just so many also i was trying to dodge monkeys because they were like flying out of the air and shit and like just like hopping around i was trying to dodge monkeys dodge pigeons it was hot i was sweating um i was tired i was trying to get my own pictures and then like it was legit i'm not exaggerating i probably took pictures with like maybe 25 people because like it was like some groups some individuals some friends wanted ones by themselves and then um <laughs> with like the group and just like oh my god like i'm just i don't know but yeah if you want the picture like it's just like today was just so stressful i think because i was just overwhelmed because all the steps and i was tired and everything else and the monkeys and everything um but that was just too much i and this is only the second country oh i didn't tell you guys what happened last night at dinner uh embarrassing traveling story 
number one or is it number one it might be number two already on this trip um but i broke a chair last night at dinner <laughs> i don't feel like i broke it i feel like that shit was already broke so i don't know what happened i just tried to scoot out and the shit just buckled so <laughs> I sat in those chairs like maybe how many times did I eat dinner? I don't know. It wasn't that exact chair, of course. I changed chairs every night that I went there, but every time I went there, but I went there once the first day, two the second day. So I, I sat in that kind of chair twice before or three times before. I don't know. And nothing happened. But this one, this chair, and I I don't know how I hurt my foot, but my foot was a little sore yesterday and they tried to give me like a juice or something. I was like, this isn't gonna help. My foot hurts. <laughs> yeah so i'm just waiting like now i understand what people i mean there's some stuff i could possibly have done today but you know i'm just like <laughs> fast travel is like not always the best travel um i enjoyed it i i enjoy it but like right now i'm just like uh i'm just kind of tired so I actually don't mind like how chill Malaysia's been even though I've done stuff like yesterday was exhausting like my legs still hurt I stink from all of the mosquito repellent I put on and it's all in my bed now and I, I don't even want to sleep in there tonight so I don't know <sighs> we'll see but I just wanted to come and update you guys um yeah I'll show you what's going on later in the day.